Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing another one of those videos that we shouldn't have to do, but we have to do it because tyranny exists at the federal government as well as many other places within the ATF. So right now they're trying to come out with a ruling or issuing a letter uh, that would potentially make tens of thousands, if not more, of American citizens, citizens felons uh, if they don't either A, comply with what they want, or B, go through a lot more paperwork to possess the things they already legally possess. So uh, folks of you, those of you rather, who follow me on social media, uh, I'm sure remember the diversified machine debacle with the ATF where they got raided and the ATF seized their records, uh, which what that allowed them to do is that basically if there was any actual transaction recorded with your name on it and you purchased anything from them that was a solvent trap, they said that essentially now you are in possession of an illegal silencer. Uh, so for folks that don't know, we'll back up a little bit. Solvent traps are completely legal in America and do not meet the definition of a silencer or suppressor according to federal law. And uh, they can be used for cleaning guns to not have mess afterwards. And additionally, they can be used as an easily, some of them, depending on how it's configured, uh, a fairly easy way to form one a suppressor. So again, we'll back up on that one. So in America, it is legal to create your own suppressor, manufacture your own suppressor as long as you file a form one uh, beforehand it gets approved and then you can manufacture your suppressor legally there's nothing shady about that at all it's very black and white in terms of federal law and what they're saying is that um, even if you did that and you the product you purchased was from diversified machine you are essentially a felon in violation of the law so let me just read this letter here real quick that has been sent out to many of the folks who have purchased from diversified machine it says diversified machine customer the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is responsible for enforcing federal firearms laws. ATF has received information that you have acquired or have attempted to acquire one or more silencer kits, silencers, or silencer parts from Diversified Machine, lists their website, which have been determined to be silencers, none of which are registered to you in the National Firearms Registration and Transfer Record as required by the National Firearms Act, NFA, Title 26, U.S. Code, Chapter 53. So a couple things on that. Right there in the letter, it says that you have not registered in the National Firearms Registration. So again, if you actually do a Form 1, then you are the manufacturer. So Tom Jones, right? If your name is Tom Jones, Tom Jones is the manufacturer of the silencer. So when you register it in the registry, it's registered under Tom Jones. It's not registered under Diversified Machine. So again, they have no way of knowing what they just said was true. They're just completely assuming it and assuming that you're a felon. They're also assuming that you completed the part that isn't the silencer that they're now in this letter saying is a silencer. But again, according to their own definition, legally in federal law, it does not meet the criteria for being a silencer. The letter continues. This letter officially notifies you that it is a felony violation of federal law to possess a silencer that is not registered to you and that any silencer Devices that are unlawfully possessed are subject to seizure and forfeiture by the federal government. Possession of any unregulated silencer devices devices could result in prosecution for criminal violations of federal law as well as potential state violations. Any future purchase or possession of such devices can subject you to persecution as well. So a couple things. Again, they're presuming that it's either A, a silencer by itself, or that you've converted it and not registered it. And they're also saying that any future purchase or possession of such devices. And again, uh, Diversified Machines is not the only shop that this has happened to. Several companies have been raided, had all of their inventory taken, and not been charged with any crime at all because they didn't commit any crime. So the federal government is just literally going into these places, these businesses that are completely legitimate, going in there and stealing their lawfully produced products and then not charging them with crimes because, again, there's no actual crime. So this letter here is trying to say that there is a crime that there isn't. And there's no way this would ever hold up in court. But they're trying to scare people and frighten them into either a giving up their property or essentially turning themselves in or doing something that we'll get to here in just a second. The letter continues. The Gun Control Act, Title 18, U.S. Code, Section 921, defines the term silencer as, here we go, 
Any device for silencing, muffling, or diminishing the report of a firearm, including any combination of parts designed or redesigned and intended for use in assembling or fabricating a firearm silencer or firearm muffler, and any part intended for use in such assembly or fabrication. And so reading that, you may think, Mike, you just lied to me. I, it says right there that any part can be considered a silencer. But the ATF, their agents have come out many times in federal court under oath and said that that is not the case, that is not the law, and they've maintained this, again, for decades now. So uh, Title 26 U.S. Code Section 5845 and 5861 make it unlawful for anyone to possess a silencer as defined in Title 18 U.S. Code Section 921 that is not registered in accordance with provisions of the NFA. That's key. We'll get back to that. Therefore, you cannot lawfully possess a silencer without first being a special occupational taxpayer having the silencer registered in the NFRTR. So right there, the sentence that says, not registered in accordance with the provisions of the NFA. As I stated, it's perfectly legal for anyone to file a Form 1 detailing the silencer that they plan on making once it's approved to make that. So what they're saying here with that sentence is that what should have happened is that the solvent trap that you purchased from Diversified Machine was already a silencer, even though it's not. But that's what they're saying. They're alleging that, and they're alleging that if you didn't file a Form 4, which is the standard transfer form, like if you go out and purchase a, a fully made silencer that's registered by the manufacturer and the SOT that's going to transfer it, if you buy one of those, you don't fill out a Form 1, you fill out a Form 4, which is to transfer a you know an NFA item that's already produced, not one that you are producing. So in theory, right, so here are your options if, if you're one of these people, according to the ATF, not according to me. According to the ATF, what they're saying here is that either A, you can give the item up, I'm assuming they're going to say you can destroy it, but I wouldn't do that if you're going to do it, which I don't recommend, but if you're going to do it, I would get some documentation on it. Or you can refile what you already put on a Form 1 on a Form 4, then somehow it would be legal according to their uh, misguided logic. At the end, here it says, immediately contact your local ATF office within 30 days of receipt of this letter to coordinate the abandonment of any silencers. Any future purchase or possession of such devices can subject you to prosecution as well. Again, just reiterating the point I was just making, if you are going to do this, I do not recommend you do, but if you are going to do this, I would get documentation because otherwise, again, this is an item that had no serial number on it. And if you didn't already drill it, you, there's no responsibility on the part of the user to actually register or notify anyone. So they have no way of knowing the status of this device. Other than that, you bought a solvent trap at some point from the verse five machines. They don't know that you threw it away because it wasn't doing a good job at trapping solvents or whatever the case may be. They have no idea. They're just presuming it. So again, this is just, once again, another attempt by the ATF to make law when they do not have that authority in any way to do so. And uh, unfortunately, it's probably going to take someone taking them to court who falls under this category. And then, of course, they're going to have to walk in there like they've done multiple times and have to admit that, no, these are not silencers under federal law and that, no, anyone possessing them is not a, a violation of any law. Unfortunately, in the meantime, somebody could get arrested for something like this, even though they did everything in the absolute step-by-step -step manner that you're legally required to according to this letter. Because again, before this letter went out, like I said, legally converting them into Form 1s was completely legal. Now, magically, it's not unless you do a Form 4 or destroy it. <sighs> I think we beat a dead horse enough on this one and broke it down for you guys. But if you fall into that category, uh, definitely I would recommend talking to a lawyer. I am not a lawyer, but I do have a pretty good knowledge of the ATF's history and what they have done. Um, so that's my take on it anyway. If you guys have a different take, definitely let us know down below in the comments section. Um, if you like this type of video and you're not subscribed, we expose the ATF whenever they need exposing here on the channel. Uh, I would definitely recommend hitting that subscribe button if you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell and aren't seeing two to four videos here on the a week. Uh, make sure you sign up for my email list here. This is just a, this email list just sends out at most once a month, all of the videos since the last email went out. So that way there's not a social media giant censoring your eyes for my content. And if you're looking for deals on solvent traps and other things related to firearms, whether they be firearms themselves, accessories, ammunition, etc., you can sign up for my daily deals email here at the website here on your screen. 
And as the name indicates, it is a daily deals email and the email goes out uh, every day, pretty much without exception. It has six or seven of the best deals on guns and gear related items that we find around the internet and uh, lets you guys take advantage of them, saves you some time and saves you some money as well. That's all I have for you. ATF, doing what the ATF does. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.